name is Moses Mutuli. I am the vice chair of the Actuarial Society of, uh, of Kenya. I am an actuary uh, by profession. I've uh, been an actuary, qualified actuary since uh, 2010, so that makes me uh, with eight years uh, experience of being, of being an actuary. But uh, it, uh, it, was, it was a very long uh, journey. Of course, I started as an actuarial student uh, in 2001. And uh, it took me quite a number of years before I actually actually qualified, though I had taken quite a few breaks in, uh, in between, just because of how difficult those examinations uh, really were. But I worked for Jubilee Insurance as a start, and then uh, went to the, to the UK, worked with uh, Munich Re and uh, Deloitte, then traveled to South Africa also with, uh, with Deloitte before I returned to Kenya after 10 years to take up a role with uh, Liberty Life Insurance. Uh, it's only quite recently, that was last year, when I actually changed jobs and, uh, uh, and joined uh, Sunlamp uh, uh, Emerging Markets, that's a company based in, uh, in South Africa, but I do work for them in the, in the, in the Kenya office. I am the Vice Chair of, uh, of TASC, and uh, of course I do sit in the Council of, uh, of TASC. Yeah, and uh, through, through that uh, process, I do deputize uh, the chair, who is, of course, James, uh, James Obai, do deputize him on most of the matters dealing with, uh, with, the, with the council. Uh, uh, for example, I do chair in uh, most of the meetings whenever he is not, he is not available. But through that, we actually managed to organize quite a number of uh, working parties, and this is one area that I do support immensely just to make sure that uh, TASC actually provide policies that can actually help uh, uh, the country, Kenya as a country really, just to ensure that all the items uh, that uh, the government are actually coming up with, the actuaries are able to participate and give their opinion. So the working parties play a very major role in that, in that particular area. But from, apart from that, we do guide quite a lot of uh, students who are coming through the actuarial profession. And uh, of course, I'm currently the, uh, the, the, the patron of the Actuarial Student Society of Kenya, which brings together all the students uh, in all the universities in, uh, in Kenya. I do offer my mentorship to these students with the main aim of seeing them actually grow into, into qualified actuaries. At the same time, individuals who can play a big role in the development of the profession in, uh, in Kenya. This year, TASC is actually celebrating 25 years of uh, existence and uh, we've seen enormous growth in the profession here, here in Kenya. I think when TASC actually started, we had only about two or three qualified actuaries, and that was in 1993. But now we are seeing quite a number of actuaries really coming through. So currently, the, the, the statistics show that we are about four, between 45 and 55 qualified actuaries who are actually working in Kenya. And this is a big number. It might appear small, but it is very big compared to what other African countries have to offer. So I think in East and Central Africa, it's only in Kenya where you can find actual qualified actuaries. And it is only South Africa that has grown at a, at a, at a bigger rate than, uh, than, uh, than Kenya. So it is something that we as a country need to, to celebrate very, very much. During that period, 25 years, we've seen quite a lot of changes really coming through. One of the big changes is the introduction, of course, of the working parties, which is something that I actually talked about earlier, which kind of guides in the policy making for the, for the profession. Then number two, uh, we've actually seen the growth of uh, what we refer to as the actuarial academy which is an area that is actually going to have a big impact on the growth of the actuarial profession, not just here in Kenya, but also in East, uh, in East Africa. And we are getting quite a lot of support from the Institute and Faculty of Actuaries of the, of the UK. So the idea is we want to see the number of actuaries actually growing, and at the same time, make sure that the quality of actuarial training is, uh, is at the highest possible level. So these are some of the growth areas that, uh, that the profession in Kenya has been working on. And uh, you haven't seen uh, all of it yet, because I know in the next few years we will be seeing a lot more changes coming through. But one of the areas that we are actually putting a lot of emphasis is to see that we do have an actuarial act which will actually make a big difference into how the government and all individuals perceive the role of an, of an actuary. So this is some of the areas that we are actually working on, and uh, all I can say is uh, watch this space. Yeah, so it is a, it is a pleasure actually to, to, to welcome you to, 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 the, to the Actuarial Society of Kenya 
uh, convention and I uh, hope uh, uh, each one of you is actually going to enjoy uh, uh, what we as a profession actually have to offer.